holler at the old heads, holler at the old heads. And to my brands, to my shout, all my shout outs, let me talk about my people right now before I just, I get off going here. But uh, first of all, Dope by Dell, check us out. Dell K Brereton at gmail.com, Dope by Dell. Listen, we about to put out some merch that's just gonna blow your mind. My girl at Embellishments just created Dope by Dell and we're gonna push this thing until you buy it. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna push it in every kind of way. Look at these shirts, doggone purses, shoes, no coats. Listen, Dope by Dell. And to my mind, um, Al Katani with the Spice Man. I know he wants to, I know he wants to make sure that he doesn't get forgotten. We can't forget you, Al Katani, the Spice Man, the builder of the war chest. Listen, this is Del K. Burton. This is a real spiel. We back in here. And, you know, I'm trying to have a conversation with you guys, a, a, a hard conversation, a hard, hard conversation. And, and, and let's let's call it the conversation of accountability, right? There has to be an accountability conversation being had. And, you know, I, I don't like to I don't like to bother bother the fairer sex, but there has to be a female accountability conversation that's being had right now. All right, we got to have some accountability. Right, we got we got far we, we we going far too far too far too far, letting ladies off the hook with some of this stuff, man. Okay, we going too far now because what's happening is that you know women are coming for men on a level where you folks are feeling like no one can come for you. I'm not one of them, personally. I'll come for your doggone throat. I'm not one of them. I have absolutely no filter. I'm, the, I'm, I'm a dangerous cat when it comes to talking. I ain't gonna do nothing to you physically, just for the, just for the record. But I'm gonna hurt your doggone feelings out here. I'm gonna hurt your doggone feelings out here. And um, but I'm, 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 I'm gonna go easy until it's t time not to go easy. All right. One of the biggest things happening now around around the world, ladies and gentlemen, is these ladies are putting up sites called "Are We Dating the Same Man." happening all over the place it's happening in toronto it's happening in fort fort myers texas it's happening all over the place and so these um bruised individuals are basically posting men that they dated on social media on facebook it's a facebook page and are throwing them up there saying you know do you know this guy what's going on with him and, and they're, they're doing the who's who of, of who this person is and none of these women are being held accountable to their own behavior. And, and I don't know where this modern era gets off thinking that the only accountability that relies on us men, but I'm, I'm not one of them that's gonna fall for it. First of all, whether you call it femininity, feminism, whether you call it women's empowerment, that level of, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna call it radical, radical terrorism from 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 females. I'm not gonna sit and let, let any of it happen. I'm not gonna let not a single stroke of it happen. And a lot of men are afraid to say things about women because they feel that people will come for them on social media. I am not one of those men. I am not one of those men. I'm not afraid of none of you ninjas, male nor female. And some of you ladies need to be held accountable. First of all. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that most of these sites and most of these pages are being built by the, I call you the second tier. You are not the first tier women. You are the second tier women, women who basically have a very hard time staying in relationships, keeping relationships. Um, they're, they're women that I've never dated because I don't date second tier girls. Um, but second tier girls, they're friends of first tier girls. And what happens is when their girlfriends go through things with men, these women take it upon themselves to become, you know, these rescue ninjas. And now what they want to do is they want to assist these girls and by dragging the men that they used to date while these, while the people you actually dated sat, sit back and do nothing. Me personally, I'm good. My situation is good. I'm secure in where I am right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no problems, but I see too much foolishness happen. And yeah, my name gets thrown in the mix because I was an infamous dater when I when I broke up with my ex and before I got organized in my new circumstances. And those none of your dog business. But I see the crazy
craziness that's happening on social media where women are really, you guys are really out of control. And this is why the whole Kevin Samuels thing caused many of many a man to get excited and happy that there was somebody holding women accountable to their ridiculous behavior. And let me tell you how the range of ridiculous behavior is, right? Ridiculous behavior begins, I'm, I'm beginning at the, at the place where most of you don't like. <clears throat> Stop telling men what they can do with their social life. Our social life is our flipping business, period. We don't have any modicum of, a, of responsibility to anyone when we date other than ourselves, just like you do. A woman can decide, look, look at all these things. We, you can control your body, you can control your space. You know, people can't comment on your social media before you call foul. Women scream foul for everything. They scream, he's creepy. Oh, um, I, I, I feel I feel like he's, he's stalking me. All kinds of things, I, I don't feel comfortable. All these levels of things because there is an overinflated um, social awareness for the safety of women. It, when a lot of you are not, you're not unsafe. You're not, you're not being, you're not being treated in a way where you're going to be hurt physically or otherwise. But because there is a demographic of people who have hurt you, and that there are some men who have hurt you, and and some of you are having relationships with women who are going to hurt you too. But people have been hurt in life. That's that's a fear. But now to blow that up, where that there is a, a global anxiety of all women, where every single man is being put through some type of vetting process where he's a potential stalker, he's a potential abuser, where every, where every man is being uh, deemed to be a, a narcissist or a potential narcissist, and all these things that you women have used in the last... And it really, it's happened in the, about the last three or four years. It's gotten really, really terrible. It's gotten really bad. I'm saying to you that it's about time somebody turns that mic around, turns the camera around on you, shines the light on you, and holds you accountable. Holds you accountable for trying to go after men who simply don't deserve you going after them. And let me tell you something. I went to court. I went to court years ago. And I said to the judge... My wife is cheating on me, judge. My wife is cheating on me. And the judge looked at me and said, so what? That's her body. She can do what she wants. Well, who cares? I'm not here to worry about whether she's cheating on you or she's not cheating on you. She doesn't want to be with you. She doesn't want to be with you. If you don't want to be with her, you don't want to be with her. There's no moral accountability going on in Europe, anywhere. Not in a court system. Not in a church. Trust me. It, it, they're not going on. Let me tell you why it's not going on in churches. All right? And many of you who know me from church, you're like, well, What's he on there right now? What's he on? I'm going to tell you. Because all of you, all of the Christian, the Judeo-Christian individuals, even the people that, that levitate to other forms of faith, you will run to your houses of worship to get married. You will run to your leader, your spiritual leaders to get married. But where, who do you run to when it's time to get divorced? You run to the courthouse. You run to the secular government. You run to a lawyer. So what type of religious... What type of real spirituality do you have? Because if the church can marry you, how can the courthouse divorce you? If the church can sanctify your relationship, how can the courthouse unsanctify your relationship? Most of you are living in a hypocritical Alice in Wonderland life of wanting this nostalgic, you know, fairy tale. And when the fairy tale, you have to actually live out the fairy tale, when you have to clean the houses of the fairy tale, when you have to actually go through the ups and the downs and the mountaintops of the fairy tale, you can't take it. You can't handle it. You're not woman enough to handle it. And so what do you do is you create a boogeyman of a man who's, what has he done wrong to you? Oh, well, you know, he's, he dated somebody else. The second, the second that any woman hears that a man has reached outside of their sphere of relationship and has potentially inquired, looked at, dated, or gone even further with any woman, immediately that guy becomes worthy of everything wicked you could possibly do to him. And it's not, it's not a reality. It's not the reality. Guess what? If you are dating someone and they decide to leave you and go to somewhere, go somewhere else, or date with some deal with someone else, 
that's their prerogative. They have not broken any level. They haven't committed a crime. They might have broken some kind of covenant that you guys had, but they haven't committed a crime. They're not worthy of having their property destroyed, their name dragged. They're not worthy of losing money because of you. They're not, they're not worthy of losing a good reputation because they've decided to break up with you. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are that the second a brother moves on, that all of a sudden it's your personal job to go behind his back and to, to, to operate a smear campaign? My ex-wife has done that for years. She sat on her social media with fake eyes, fake hair, fake eyelashes, and, and potentially Botox lips because her lips didn't look like that when we were married. Maybe if, if they did, I would have hung around a little longer. But, and has, and has launched a smear campaign for years that has led her nowhere led her to a few little subscribers led her nowhere with an angry group of females breathing down her neck saying yeah girl go ahead do your thing and at the end of the day it's like who cares you're not stopping me from flexing you guys can't stop men from doing what men do why do you waste your time why do you spend so much energy dragging men who are the fathers of your children Dragging men who have helped you. Dragging men who have put you in homes. Dragging men who have sustained you. Men who haven't done any physical hurt to you because your little heart is broken. How many of you have picked up and have launched out into new romantic horizons and have left a, a trail of havoc in the background because you felt that God had told you to move on or that the universe was moving you in a different direction? How many of you have broken hearts and and shattered dreams of men and 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 have said well i wasn't happy and that has that 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 fixes everything for you you guys are out here destroying people's lives with with social media websites with innuendo destroying people's lives by trying to do things and say things about people dragging them while you're still co-raising your own children you guys are evil it's an evil, it's an evil paradigm. And I just had a video I just posted about Andrew Wiggins. Women like that, women like that, you guys don't, you guys give a pass to women like that. She's out here on social media talking about don't believe everything you, you, you hear on the internet. Her husband's not, her husband's not co-signing that. Her husband's not saying, hey, my wife had never slept with my best friend. No, but you guys won't drag women like this. You won't. But if Andrew Wiggins, if it was whispered in your ear that Andrew Wiggins had sired a child outside of his marriage, you bunch of you bunch of chicks would be dragging him all over the world. And it's it's a it's hypocritical. And I'm here, I'm here to tell you right now, no man has to stick with any of you. Anytime a man, if he wakes up in the middle of the night and gets up out of that bed and says, I don't want to be with you no more, pack your bag and go. Period. And, and if you feel that that somehow is some level of jilting your life, get over it. Go see a psychiatrist. But the thing that you guys do now is you feel that, oh, I'm going to go destroy his life. I'm going to go, I'm going to go for his job. I'm going to go for, I'm going to try to take him for everything he has. I'm going to try to get as much money as I can. Listen, none of y'all are worth it. And, and he's not worth your time to go that, to that effort to try to drag somebody for that long. It's stupid. And I'm just seeing this more and more and more that that women are, are just not being held accountable for the things that they decide to do on social media. If a man loves you, he's gonna stay with you, period. If a man loves you, he's gonna stay with you. And there's nothing you can do to change that. There's no great amount of effort you can put into him to make him love you more. And guess what? Some of you, you can't even hate him enough to make him love you less. Because if a man wants you, if a man wants to be in your life, he's going to be in your life. And when he decides to leave, you better just pack your bag, put on your girdle, and walk out the door, Susie. Because nothing you do after that is going to stop another woman from coming and knocking on that man's door. Period. Nothing you can do. So you better, you guys need to just get over your drama, get over your problems. Most of you are out here in cities like Toronto dating multiple men multiple men a lot of you used to date used to date athletes and dating rappers and you got you got a secret love life going on you're kept women 
Guys are flying you all over the place, from Turkey to everywhere else. We know your dirty movements. And again, most of the women I'm talking about are not even those top tier girls who can pull that off. They don't have the uh, they don't have the audacity to actually put men on so social media sites. It's the second tier girls. It's your little minions. It's the little ones that don't have a life. They're living vicariously through their better looking friends. And they're the ones who are saying, well, I'm here picking up the pieces because he hurt her. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> so that's what I wanna say. Most of you are not in a position to, 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 to beat your chest and say, hey, I am, the moral, I am the moral standard here. These guys have to be held accountable. Who do you think you are? You're out here, you're out here yourself with children out of wedlock. You're out here yourself doing dirty stuff with Negroes who aren't even, who aren't, they won't even, they don't even brush their dog on teeth. Watch, listen to me. Don't, you guys shouldn't be out here talking about anybody. Go talk about some of the women who are dragging down the level that women are at. That's what you guys should do. And you know what? I'll tell you one thing too. Broken men are made by broken women. Remember that. Broken men have been created by broken women. It could have been their mother, could have been their grandmother, and most likely was their wife or their girlfriend. So you go and talk to the talk to your sisters. That's what you should do. Go talk to your sisters. Brothers have a level of code in this city, in cities that I've been in. We're not we're not diving into mashing up people's families. It's you, it's a lot of you women that are taking yourselves and saying, I used to be somebody's husband or somebody's wife, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer myself to the market. And you've left your marriages and people have run through most of you, run through most of you that they have a laundry, they, they have their, their, their we if wish we had these sites because, oh, you were with her? I was with her too, bro. Yeah, I didn't want her anymore, so I, I moved on. Oh, you're gonna wife that? Yeah, my boy used to deal with her, come on. You guys don't have a leg to stand on. You should not be calling men's names on these sites. You should not be putting their pictures up. You should not be talking because when we dive into your background, it's mu it's muddy, it's murky, period. All right, so you guys need to get out of that. And a lot of you ladies, listen, hold on to the dude you have because if you think you're gonna run out here and find better, most of y'all don't even understand what it is to have a premier dude in your life, all right? You're, you're, you're shell-shocked when they talk to you. You're, you're amazed when, when, when we come to the table and say, hey, baby, I'm here. You better hold on. Once you, get, once you get high caliber brothers in your life, you better just hold on because these chicks out on these streets will have you wrecking your homes and they won't wreck theirs. Those second tier girls, they won't wreck their little raggedy home but they'll try to tear yours down. My, my ex-wife, that was her situation. She took counsel from all of the bad people, all of the worst people to take counsel from, all of these second tier chicks, all of these girls that, that weren't on her level, they all still have their relationship. And what's she doing? She's running around on the streets, right? Pretending like she's in love with a new dude, but basically she broke her home to pieces. And that's a lot of them. And she's she's... She's the number. She's the superstar for breaking up, for breaking your home apart for nothing. And so, in my current situation, I'm cool. I'm good. I'm okay. I got no complaints. I got no complaints. But at the end of the day, I'm still a grown ass man. I'm doing the hell I want to do, and nobody can call me out on it. And anything I decide to move and do, I'm a big man who pushes my own key and pays my own rent, pays my own mortgage, pays my own car note. Nobody can tell me what to do. And this is the thing that women don't like. You cannot control us. Stop trying. Del K. Brereton, this is the real spiel. This is for who it's for. And for who don't like it, oh well.